Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. Here's a great tip to help you get more distance. If you like this tip, please give me a thumbs up, click on the red button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips, and please tell all your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. In this tip, I'm giving you a drill to get your lower body moving in the downswing. So if you know anything about what I teach, I do not want you hitting the ball with your arms. Instead, we are going to be using our legs and hips to power the swing. So we wanna be using our body, not just trying to hit with our arms. So a lot of people, you know, they don't quite have this concept or they don't have the feeling of using their legs and hips to power the swing. So if that's you, then maybe try this drill. It's a little tricky though. So, <laughs> you know, you do this drill, you're not gonna get it in like two seconds, okay? You gotta just kind of keep practicing it a little bit until you start to feel the power coming from here, not trying to hit with your arms. All right, so it's pretty simple. What we're doing is we're just doing a very short backswing. Okay, so a lot of people, you know, do a backswing that's way too long. So they go way back like this, they're way up here, and now they try to hit the ball. Problem with that is, once you go back, you know, more than let's say parallel, you're in a position where your arms have to pull to catch back up to your body. So think of it like a clock, let's say. So if you were the post on a clock, and this was the minute hand, and you went back, let's say the clock said to go to five o'clock, but you went to like seven o'clock, you know what I mean? You'd have to pull to catch back up to then link it back up to your body. So in that process, you'd be activating your arms and trying to hit with your arms, okay? So I don't want you to do that. So now think about a super short backswing. Okay, so if you went like this, and you just did this little tiny, you know, like no more than parallel back, uh, lead arm parallel to the ground, a little three-quarter backswing, okay? You don't even have enough time to generate a lot of power with your arms. Just try it. So you go like this, just go to three-quarters right here, okay? And now see what kind of power you have to try and hit, you know, not as much or very little. Okay, so how could you generate power? Because you've seen a few tour players doing a very short swing, hitting the ball 300 odd yards with their driver. Tony Finau, we've got uh, John Rahm, okay? Not that I want you to go that short, but if the arms aren't in a position to generate all that power, they gotta be hitting it with something. So they'd be using their body, okay? So just as a little test, you're gonna come out to the range, tee up your ball, Got a little seven iron here. Just start off, you know, kind of slow and easy. Just think though, you're gonna do like this little dinky backswing and then just hit the shot. Okay, so kind of easy at first, cause you gotta, you know, you gotta kind of get used to it. So that one there, that's about 100 yards. Okay, so after you get a few kind of airborne without, doing a big long backswing, I want you to try and get it to the same distance you normally hit your seven iron. So let's say you hit your seven iron 150, start off at like 50, okay? Go like this, little dinky swing, 50, okay? You'll see, you'll have to start using your legs and hips because <laughs> from here, you will not have the same energy with your arms to try and hit that ball as hard as you can. So once you get it to 50, then go up to 100. So that was about 100, it flew it into that bunker out there. Okay, so now we try to go even more, but we're not doing this big long swing. Tiny, tiny back swing. You see, now I'm having to fire my hips harder. I didn't even, oh, there it is right there. That's about 130. Okay, so I added a little bit more legs. So again, this is just a drill, okay? I don't want you to do a super short backswing, but I want you to feel what it feels like to actually 
get your hips moving in your swing. And this is a good way to do it, but it takes a little bit of practice to get the concept. And I'm telling you, once you do it a few times and you kind of get used to it, you'll start to sense your lower body moving. Okay, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, I know when I hit a ball, it doesn't look like I'm swinging, you know, super hard or anything. That's because I'm not hitting the ball with my arms. My arms are turned off. I hit the top. In no way am I trying to hit or help the shot. So my swing doesn't look fast. It looks rather slow. So right here, I go like this. Okay. That's basically my normal swing. So I don't look like I'm swinging out of my shoes to do that. I'm getting the power through the looseness of my wrists. Then I'm attaching my arm unit to my body, which I'm using as the power source. The thing is, your body doesn't move that fast in life. So if your body's moving slow, well, why would your arm look fast? Your body couldn't possibly move your arm that fast. So if you were here and you move your body, see, <laughs> my body is moving my arm. But that takes a lot of energy from my body to move my arm just a little bit faster. So I'm doing that with my legs and hips. I'm not trying to hit anything. And you know, pre-1999, I was hitting it with my arms. Then I turned them off. Okay. So it felt completely different, it felt weird, but I kept doing it because I went from hitting it literally sideways to straight. So I was like, wow, this not hitting thing works. <laughs> Nobody ever said, don't hit it with your arms. I just figured it out one day. Stop trying to whack at it as hard as I could. So that's why I teach a swing that is powerless arms. But if your arms are turned off, you need a different power source. Well, if you keep going like this, you know, you're in a position where you're, you can use the arms as the power source. So do too short of a swing for a little bit as a drill to get a feel of what I'm talking about. Once you start using your legs, you know, just by doing this little tiny swing, you can let it go a little bit longer up to your normal back swing, like, which hopefully isn't way back here. Okay. Like driver parallel with driver of the seven iron, maybe about here. And then you'll start using your legs and hips. Once you start doing that, oh my God, you'll just hit it so much better because now you're using the power source that better players are using instead of just hitting it with your arms. Okay, so give that a try. Don't quit after like three balls, okay? Start at 50 yards, go up to 100, then try to get a seven iron, 150 with a little tiny backswing. If you do, you'll be using your legs and then hopefully you keep doing that into the future. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples. Click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples. Click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.